In this video, I will show you how to integrate prompt.cache as a payment processor into your website within minutes. So the reasons for prompt.cache are listed on our website. Feel free to check them out for yourself. The most important one is that we are a non-custodial payment processor, unlike most of our, all of our competition as far as I'm aware of. What this means is that we do not hold your money. All the money goes directly into your wallet where only you hold the private key and therefore we can never touch or freeze your money, which is how it should be in cryptocurrencies after all. So after you create an account, you will see the merchant dashboard, which uh, looks familiar to other processors like Stripe, for example. You will just see the payments of the last 30 days and your revenue. This is not just a demo account I created, it's just started and the first thing that we need to do, it will ask you here to please enter your XPUB before you can start accepting payments. And when you click on it, it takes you to this page. There's a quick way, it can just create a wallet for you in JavaScript and you can just take over uh, this configuration. But I recommend you connect your external wallet you have. If you click on that, it will show you how to do this with Electron Cash. It's just two simple steps after download. I will show this. But you can also connect it to your ledger or any other offline wallet, hardware wallet that you have stored away. Every payment will go directly into your wallet safely stored away from other people where only you have access to it. And this way your website is online and payments come in all the time. So to do this now, I already downloaded Electron Cash and the steps are mentioned right here. I have to copy the XPUB which I can find here. It's called Master Public Key in Electron Cash. I just open Wallet at the top and click on Information. You might not have seen the toolbar at the head. And now I copy this string essentially and I just paste it here and I press save. That's all I need to do. Now we are set up. Now it says status connected. It will now scan for existing balance and uh, addresses if there are any. So we create a new address for every payment and in case invoices expire, meaning lots of people don't pay, we reuse these addresses because the problem with BIP44 addresses is that if you have too many unused addresses in a row, some wallets might not scan for new incoming payments anymore, but we already take care of this for you. So this is really all you need to do. And now you're set up to accept payments that go directly into your wallet. On the integration page, you will have multiple options, how to add prompt.cash and accept payments. You can all just copy and paste them. The values are pre-filled for your account, so it's really easy. Essentially, it's a form rendered as a button, a link and a widget, meaning an iframe where the payment takes place within your website so the user doesn't even have to leave. It just asks them for the payment and will then show a success message. All the APIs on the back end are the same, so you can easily switch or query data and it works essentially the same with all the parameters, etc. For this demo, I'm just going to go with the form. I think still the most common way to redirect a customer to a gateway. This is an empty bootstrap starter template. You see there's nothing here yet on that website. I just paste the form. My account token is already pre-filled. As a unique identifier, this should be something like order ID or something unique because prompt.cash will create a new invoice for every time you provide a new value for this one here. If it's the same value, it will show the customer the old payment again. If it's not paid, otherwise it says, okay, this one's already paid. Now the amount, obviously, and currency, we support over 25, so feel free to put in uh, Swiss franc, British pound or whatever. And description, this will show up on your invoice history, so it should be something meaningful. It also shows to the customer when he's on the page what he's paying for. Your product, let's just say demo. The return URL is where the customer gets sent back. 
after the payment. Now since I'm just doing this on localhost, it's going to be demo slash paid HTML. Just an empty page to say thank you, we have your order for now. And to the callback we will get later. All these down here are optional, so you don't need them, but I'm going to show you how they work. Now we are on this payment page with the form I just created and I now press pay which will send me to our gateway and all I need to do like with any gateway just paste the address to send the money and the money is out and you see instantly prompt cash had the money showed the success message and redirected us back to the paid message, which you remember was the return URL we put in here. And now the payment will show up in our invoice history of this demo account. You see there is a new payment that just happened right now, status paid, your product demo, this was what I just put in there as a description. And this is essentially all you need to accept payments easy in your website 24-7 and to have an invoice history and manage them, ship them, etc. Now, however, you obviously want to automate this one step further, especially if you have many payments. So I recommend you check out our API. Uh, you need the secret token from the account too to authenticate, which you can find right here. It's just sent as a header. It's all explained pretty well how it works. And now if you want to update orders programmatically, the easiest way would be this API call, which just returns the JSON of the payment with the ID you added to the form. And there you can just check if the status is paid, expired, or still pending. So this way you can update your orders in the shop automatically. This is one very easy way to do it. The other similarly easy way, and this is also all on GitHub. Oh yeah, the static demo I just showed you is also on GitHub, so you can check it out. There are some more comments on, on here too. This is the form we just used. And here you can see how it all works. But what I want to show you now is how to update payments automatically in your store. This example shows how to implement the callback URL as an alternative to query our REST API for the status of payments. So all the parameters here are the same. What you saw before on the form, the amount, the ID, description etc and they're also explained in more detail here on the create payment API call so feel free to just read them all here how they work and now I'm going to show you how to add this I already prepared this with the secret token and the account token which is all we need to put in here plus the return URL same as before with the form and now the callback URL the new part Remember, this must be a public URL, meaning public domain or IP address, not, not localhost, because our web server cannot call you on localhost. Also, this Node.js example has the signature parameter, which is just the SHA-2 hash of all the parameters plus the secret token. This ensures that nobody except you can initiate payment, so nobody else can start payments into your account on, on your behalf. And yeah, now let's just see how this works. I'm just going to do yarn start. I already have this app here on my web server. And it should now show here. And I press pay, same as before. Get redirected to the gateway. I just scan. It. and this time I used my phone wallet I scanned it and here we are and we get sent back so far so good same electron cash recognized the payment already as you see a bit slower than prompt cash actually <laughs> and the interesting part I want to show you is 
here we now are in the callback handler and without doing any REST API queries, our backend already got all the information about the payment. It got paid and time and the amount, etc. So this has been implemented here. Remember, we just specified the callback URL and Promptcast made a post request here. I added a JSON parser to this already. So we already have in request body the JavaScript object. Remember, the first thing you want to do is check that the secret token is present in the request so that nobody else is faking this and just calling your URL. And then you just check if the status is paid or expired or maybe something else and update your database accordingly. And that's all you need to do to accept Bitcoin Cash payments in a very easy, straightforward way without having to worry about any of the blockchain implementation details. If you have questions, please feel free to reach out to us.